Hello friends, I'm Dr. Tamim. I have yet another topper with us, uh, Dr. Harshit. He's got very good ranks in both AIMS and PGI. So please introduce yourself and tell about your ranks. Hi everyone, myself Dr. Harshit. Uh, I got uh, AIMS 53rd rank and uh, PGI 63rd rank. And in Nimans also I got 28th rank. And uh, I'm like very happy that I could uh, achieve this thing. And I'm very thankful to uh, the coaching institute, Bhatia. Um, I uh, I feel I couldn't have done this without the coaching and the guidance which I uh, got my got from my institute. Great. So first of all, um, I think huge congratulations from our side. Um, how was your um, NEET rank last year? Uh, sir, during my internship when I gave it was thirty three thousand. <laughs> so I think that's uh, that's a big inspiration for those who are watching this. From thirty three thousand, there is hope to get into two digit ranks and uh, and get into central institutes. Yeah. Sir. So that's really good. So I think uh, your ranks are really good. AIMS, you've got a good rank. PGA, you've got a good rank. Um, so at, uh, having given all these exams, uh, how is your experience and what advice you'd like to give to your juniors? Uh, thing is, sir, we uh, usually, while well, uh, we start our preparation, we go behind uh, tough things or uh, rarely asked things. But in exams, in those little time, all we need to do is get those uh, easy ones correct. So there will be only minor proportion of hard ones and that will be hard to everyone. Hmm. But in that limited time when we are going fastly skimming through the questions, we tend to do the easy ones wrong because that's what I realized after writing AIMS and PJ when I go back and uh, uh, no, was seeing what were the answers for that. I realized that many simple things also had committed errors. So if I had even better those easy ones, I would have got even a better rank. Yeah, okay. Um, so um, what would you say is the backbone of your entire preparation? Uh, sir, one thing is you need to have a one fixed source and that's where the notes are very handy. Like uh, in during, if you have to aim to aim, uh, complete two or three revisions, you need to have a fixed source and that's why notes are very important. And in my institute, notes were awesome. Like uh, I didn't go through uh, some other thing or uh, anything. Uh, whenever I found little bit extra things, I used to add on to the notes. But notes were the basic thing okay. overall. So I think this is another thing. Now the um, uh, number of resources are plenty. There are so yes. many apps and so many lectures and so many, uh, you know, things that you can get online as well. Yes, sir. So I think um, sticking to one resource and be able to focus on that and devise is the sensible thing to do. Yes, sir. Great. So um, how was your typical week and uh, after the class, what was your method of preparation? Uh, sir, uh, we used to get around four or five days in average after a subject. So two days at a stretch, I would uh, finish my notes first. Then I'll go through the questions whichever possible and if there if I find anything new I would add on to the notes. That's all in doing this only four or five days was like I'm going up. Okay. So basically six months we'll just go through just doing this yes, subject sir. by subject. Same routine for every subject. Okay. So when did you start your revision? Sir, it was uh, I had uh, two three subjects pending uh, after coaching this thing. So mm -hmm. those two three subjects I finished in 10 15 days and uh, right after the classes were ended within 10 15 days I started my revision. Okay. And first revision took around like 40 days okay. for the first revision. Okay. And yeah that's what exactly when aims uh, I had given. Great. Just after one revision I okay. couldn't give it. How relevant was the uh, vibe session? So uh, one thing good about vibe is uh, like you have been through the st uh, stuff for 6 months for whole uh, syllabus. When you go through VIBE in those short period of time, you will get, be able to skim through all the subjects. It will be a good recall and you will have a one source which you could rely on at the end. Mm -hmm. Like be, right two, three days before exam or one week before exam. There will be so many things going uh, in our head. We don't know what to choose and all. So in that kind of time, uh, VIBE will be very handy because when I just go through the pages in five, ten minutes, I could finish a subject. And images will be like, there will be uh, help in recalling the concepts also very fast. Good. Okay, so what faculties in DBMCI uh, you thought were really very remarkable? Uh, like, I I must say like all my teachers who ever came, I was lucky to have awesome teachers in every subject. Personally, I like um, uh, Anatomy Ashwini sir and Medicine you sir. Seriously, I like and uh, Rajajin sir also in Radiology. Okay. I can't pinpoint like everyone are awesome. Biochemistry, Rebecca, ma'am, everyone were good. Okay. These were my personal favorites. Okay. Um, so having scored uh, two very good uh, ranks in uh, both central institutes, um, what uh, advice would you like to give to your juniors? What they need to focus on? Uh, that thing is the students uh, during internship also, they used to uh, concentrate a little bit on clinicals. 
if they have some uh, idea right from the, because many people will not uh, even think about the entrance exams during internship most of them so it's better to have a idea about what are the trend of questions going on right from the internship if you have a touch with the clinicals it will be very helpful in central institute exams and uh, don't run behind tough uh, concept like tough uh, factual things because there will be hardly any factual oriented uh, questions in central institutes that's what i felt if your concepts are clear and if you are practicing again and again those questions it will be just fine so you feel the classes that we conduct are good enough to understand the concepts yes sir it was our uh, notes were like uh, not too hectic it was up to the point to make any concepts clear all concepts were cleared in uh, notes okay um so i think you have given a very elaborate uh, approach of uh, what one should do to get uh, this kind of ranks uh, any final words of advice uh nothing sir like uh, if you are uh, clear with your concepts uh, and you have practiced questions on them last few days before exam if you could skim through the factual things if you could mark those uh, things in your notes in your notes which will be helpful to be skim 2 3 days before exam that's fine that's all okay so i think that's a wonderful preparation and uh, you know and remarkable ranks so hearty congratulations to you once again thank you sir so best wishes to you in your career good luck thank you sir